All right. Hey, everybody. So the point of this video is going to be to go over a uh, another method of making sure that your IK handle bends your joints in the correct direction. Uh, normally, what you want to try to do, as we, if you're in my class, then you've seen this in class, but if not, what you normally want to try to do is set up your arm, or whatever it happens to be, leg, whatever, in a little bit of a bend so that the joints have a natural flow to them. And you also want to double check that they are, your joint chain is perfectly level. Um, you'll notice if you're eagle-eyed over here, you'll notice this joint actually has some rotation values on it, which are because of the IK handle being applied. So those were not there uh, prior to the IK handle. So they, uh, those are those are okay to have now because they have already set up the IK handle. Anyway, I'm getting distracted already. Um, now, if for some reason you either can't naturally bend your arm in its default pose, or alternatively, if you do that and your arm is still having problems, um, here's something that you can try. We also look at, oh sorry, we, we also looked at the pole vector, and if you, you set up the pole vector, that might give you some good results as well in order to get some uh, some better posing and you might want the pull vector anyway because you want as much flexibility as possible when you're animating let's get it to the point here so I have these two copies of um, the arm and I did some this one I this copy I made so that it's perfectly straight instead of having a little bit of a bend and this copy is, the joint is slightly lower than it's actually supposed to be um, so if we, you know, this joint here, oh, sorry, nope, it's the elbow. The joint in the elbow is actually a little bit off center. It's uh, supposed to be higher up than that, and so that it would be level with these. So those are two mistakes that might happen. And if I create an IK handle on either of these from here to here, <clears throat> computer, I said to here, thank you. Um, or if I make my other one have an IK handle. If you're having problems clicking, you can always do this via the outliner instead of uh, in the viewport too. Um, and this one is going to behave, it's not, uh, it's still not horrible, but you know, you don't want your elbow going down if you, unless you, you know, had your pull vector control and you wanted it to go down. So that one's going down a little bit too much. Not really what I want. Um, and this one is just oof, completely off center. The person's arm is broken. Um, so here's the solution. I'm going to delete both of these eye candles for the purpose of this demonstration. And I'm going to do a two step or technically three step process. Step one is to actually just rotate your joint in the direction that you want it to bend naturally by default. You can bend it, you know, pretty much any amount. Um, and then you can right click and say set preferred angle. So that's step two. Set preferred angle, which of course can also be found. Um, actually, uh, oh, it's right, yeah, it's right here. So as with all things, there are multiple locations for these tools. Um, and then what I can do is actually set the rotation back to zero, like it's supposed to be. And I could do similar, or actually exactly the same thing for this one. And now, when I create my IK handle, or if the computer will actually register my mouse clicks here, the preferred angle should force it so that um, the IK favors uh, going in the direction that you bent before. And this is a pretty foolproof, me foolproof method that seems to work. I only recently found out about it, which is strange considering that the set preferred angle thing pops up all the time when you accidentally right click. Um, so if you want to be ultra sure that your IK is going to work perfectly, 
You could try modeling your pose with a little bit of a bend. You could try doing the set preferred angle. And you could also set up a pole vector. And with all three of those things, you should have a perfectly working arm, leg, or whatever. And um, just remember that you have to do the set preferred angle before... Um, that's not supposed to have rotation. Now. Oh, again. Duh. The, I just pointed that earlier in the video. That is because of the eye candle. Um, remember to do your set preferred angle thing before you apply the IK handle, otherwise it, it's not going to really do its job. Alright, that is it for this video. Uh, I hope that was informative, and good luck with your rigs.